You're listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. Each week, your host, Polly Requa, interviews veterinarians and individuals in the pet industry from across the nation answering pet questions. Bark and Wag podcast is produced weekly for your enjoyment, and show notes can be found at BarkandWag.com under the podcast tab. That's B-A-R-K-N-W-A-G.com. Please remember to subscribe to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. You're listening to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk, and I'm your host, Polly Requa. Today, we're talking to Dr. Susan McMillan, owner of vet to pet Mobile Veterinarian Service in Burlington, Vermont. Welcome, Susan. Hi, Polly. I have a 12-year-old who's mimicking me as I'm talking. (laughs) Oh, great. And I don't think you're talking about a 12-year-old dog, are you? No. So I wanted to have you back because we're starting to get emails from listeners and uh, this is a first, but we have a cat owner who wants to know what she should do when the cat will not go to the bathroom in the litter box. Okay. So welcome back for this question. That's a great question. I can't tell you, I probably deal with this problem, I don't know, twice a week in our practice. I'm going to go over this with you and try to be kind of methodical because it can be very frustrating, but you have to go through a certain thought process to start trying to figure this out because there are several reasons why a cat might not use the litter box. The most common one, I think, is that the cat just develops kind of an aversion to the dirty litter box. Um, Some people get away with not cleaning the litter box maybe once a week, maybe every four days, whatever. But the most common reason a cat doesn't use the litter box, I would say, is that the litter box isn't clean enough for them. And and I list, I hear the arguments all the time, well, he's always done this, or every other cat I've had doesn't mind, and I don't care. I basically don't care. My answer to that is, if you don't clean your litter box out every day, you better start cleaning your litter box every day because the cat wins this fight, right? <laughs> when, a, a, when a cat decides to not use the litter box, it wins. But let me, let me back up because okay. the, first thing, the first thing you have to do when your cat quits using the litter box, there's a, you have to find out, we have to figure out whether it's a medical problem and the most common problem would be that the cat has developed a urinary tract infection. Okay, so... Ideally, in a perfect world, the first thing you do is take the cat to the vet. We get a urine sample from the cat. You send it off, and you find out, flat out, whether or not there's signs of an infection. Okay? If there is, then you probably get to solve the problem by treating them with antibiotics, and hopefully you're done. Okay, so it might be a medical problem, or it might be a behavioral problem. So... The easiest, best way is you rule out the medical, okay, and then you're stuck with the behavioral issue. Um, and actually, the important thing, that, the important question that I would ask first of an owner is, are you talking about peeing outside the urine, the litter box, or defecating? So you got it. that's the first thing. What are they doing outside the litter box, and where are they doing it? Okay. Some cats start... Some cats start pooping in the plants, you know, Mm. and that's a different problem than the cat that just, you know, maybe you moved the litter box and now it's in the basement next to the dryer. And one time when the cat was peeing, the dryer started, you know, or buzzed. And all of a sudden they've developed a fear of the litter box. Um, So, you know, it's a complicated problem. Um, And honestly, in the old days, before we knew a lot more, cats were were taken to the shelter and euthanized all the time because of, we call it, we call it inappropriate urination. And that basically means they quit using the litter box and they're peeing in your house. Um, So um, that used to be really common and we just don't have to do that anymore. If you'll find a vet who will work with you, um... You can sort this out. You really can. It can be frustrating. Um, Sometimes you just have to start cleaning the litter box and add another litter box. Mm. Um, The rule is one litter box per cat plus one. And I'll tell you, I have one litter box in my house and two cats, so I don't follow the rule. 
But as soon as you have a problem, if you have a problem in your house, then you want to follow the rule. And sometimes the litter boxes can be right next to each other. Okay. But you want to keep them clean, make sure the litter box is big enough. We have a pet store in Burlington that I love the pet store, but they're always trying to tell people that they should switch their cat over to like some pine scented litter or something. Some cats don't want their litter, they don't want the type changed. You know, they want you to change it as in keeping it clean, but they don't want you to go from tidy cat to some funky pine scented thing. You know, some cats don't like a, a cover on their litter box. Maybe they don't like the deodorized smell. Maybe they just want it cleaner. Maybe the cat or another cat or dog in the house picks on them when they come out of the litter box. You know, maybe they're getting <laughs> bombarded. You know, so it can be really complicated. And like I said, I have this conversation all the time and it's frustrating for both me and the owner because um, sometimes an owner will just say, well, I've had cats all my life. None of them have ever done this. Right. And it's like, well... You know, th this is a new cat or this cat is now 15 years old and they have arthritis and they don't like where the litter box is. Maybe they don't like going into the basement anymore. You know, so if you have this problem, if you, one of your listeners has this problem, you want to go to the vet. And to be really frank, if your vet doesn't interrogate you like I've been, you know, then you may want to talk to someone who has a more serious interest in helping you figure this out. Because I have a whole handout. It's called Litter Box Blues. Mm. And it just lists all the things that can basically annoy a cat. Some of them are physical. Some of them are totally behavioral. Some cats will pee on your pillow when your new boyfriend sleeps over. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you just, it is it's almost like a weird personal thing. I have <laughs> clients where their cat their cat pees on if their kid if they leave dirty laundry on the floor, the cat goes over and pees on it. I'm not going to try to tell you why the cat does that. All I can tell you is the cat will keep doing it until you quit leaving dirty laundry on the floor. So that one's actually kind of easy to fix. You just right. like, quit doing, it, you know. So, um, so is your list available? Is your list available to the public that I can put it on our show notes? Um, actually, I think it's on our website. Okay, um, I put your our, put your information on there so people can okay. go on the website yeah. to find the list. Yeah, and if okay. not, I mean, honestly, you can always call the clinic. And um, actually, honest to God, if someone really wants that, it is kind of thorough. If they want, they can just call, and I'll put it in the mail to them. Okay. And it's interesting that you have to clean the litter once a week, or I mean, once a day. Well, like I said, some people really get away with not doing it. But I have a cat who, if I don't clean the litter box every day, and I actually do it twice a day, I feed them and then I clean it because okay. my partner not want a dirty litter box. But if, if I don't clean the litter box, you know, if I let it go for like 36 hours, our cat Fury might start pooping in the house. And I heard a behaviorist once just compare it to how most of us don't really like going into um, those outdoor latrines. Yeah. You know, they start getting kind of smelly and most of us have an aversion to it. And, you know, I'd rather pee in the woods than go into a dirty latrine. And sure. I think a lot of cats, a lot okay. of cats just decide they don't want a dirty litter box. You know, right. cats are pretty finicky. They're always grooming their feet and coat. And you, they may be okay with a dirty litter box until they're 12, and they suddenly just go, you know, I'm not, not doing liking it. it anymore. <laughs> yep. And so suddenly, you know, but like I said, the first, the first thing you have to do is make sure they don't have an infection. And it's really important that people not anthropomorphize. You know, you, I, like I said, about five years ago, I quit trying to figure out why cats do things mm -hmm. because it they just cats are not small dogs they're all different until you've had about 5,000 cats you you haven't met a personality like you know the cat you now have they're all sure. different and it's they just, just like they a develop a, right they're all different and Sometimes we become overconfident and we anthropomorphize. We think we know why they're doing something. 
And no, maybe they aren't pissed at you. Maybe they <laughs> really do have a sore hip and they don't like that big, deep litter box anymore because it's kind of a pain to get in and out of. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. But these are all things that you talk through with your vet and um, you really can find solutions, but you just have to be really open-minded about it. Okay. So we'll have to, I'll have to have you back on about the litter box because it's kind of interesting. One of Amanda's friends' older sister got a pig. <laughs> oh, wow. Like a pot-bellied pig? And it goes to the bathroom in the litter box. So. Oh, my God. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Well, I had a friend who um, – we have friends who one of the one of the parents decided that it would be really cool to teach the cat how to um, use the toilet. Oh, yeah. And I guess the thing online, and so she really did. She literally went through the steps and took like 30 days and taught the cat how to use the toilet, but she couldn't teach it to flush. And the rest of the family got mad that the cat was using the toilet. So she had to untrain the cat to teach it back to going to the litter box because the rest of the family didn't want the cat using the toilet. Oh, that's hilarious. Now, if that cat screwed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you uh, for being on the podcast and talking about our first cat question. And hopefully this this might uh, spark some more cat owners to uh, send us a note asking questions. Oh, that'd be great. I hope so. All right. Well, thank you for being on the podcast and we look forward to having you back. Okay. Talk to you later, Polly. Okay. Take care. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address, www.barkandwag.com, to your friends and other pet owners. Have a pressing question for a veterinarian? Ask your question at barkandwag.com under the podcast tab. This has been a KFR production. Join us next time for another edition of Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk.